now they will get the first overall pick in the NFL draft. The Colts also were missing Matt Hasselbeck, brought Josh Freeman back um, to the NFL. Freeman had not played all season, finished 15 for 28 for 149 yards passing, a touchdown, and an interception. The Washington Redskins, your NFC East winners, uh, they clinched the division last week, uh, ended on a high note and an over 500 record with a 34-23 win over the Cowboys. Redskins 9-7, and Cowboys last season's NFC East champs. Of course, had Tony Romo out for much of the season. 4 and 12 and I believe they went 1 and 11 when Tony Romo did not play. Kirk Cousins uh surpassed Jay Schroeder's record for most passing yards in a season by a Redskins quarterback. Uh finished the day 12 for 15 for 176 yards and three touchdowns. Philadelphia Eagles in what was, you know, a meaningless game when it comes to the playoffs defeated the Giants 35 to 30. Eagles finished 7 and 9, Giants 6 and 10 in what is likely Tom Coughlin's last game as the head coach. Tom Coughlin um 12 seasons as the head man with the New York Giants now will be um, likely resigning tomorrow, at least according to reports. So, uh, you know, 12 years, five playoff appearances, two Super Bowls. Uh, you know, definitely a name that will forever be remembered by Giants fans, you know, mainly for those two Super Bowl victories, both over the New England Patriots. Of course, uh, the one when the New England Patriots entered the Super Bowl undefeated. Uh, Sam Bradford, will he be back as the Eagles quarterback next season? Solid game, 30 for 38, 320 yards passing, two touchdowns, and an interception. The Detroit Lions started off very slow, ended the season very well, uh, finished 7-9 and with a 24-20 victory over the Chicago Bears, who are now 6-10. and Matthew Stafford went 28 of 39 for 298 yards and three touchdowns. And Calvin Johnson, 10 catches for 137 yards and a touchdown. And that is it for the 1 o'clock games. Um, we have a big game tonight, which will actually decide the NFC North between the 10 and 5 Green Bay Packers and the 10 and 5 uh, Minnesota Vikings. Uh, that game is in Green Bay. Will air on NBC at 8:30 tonight. Uh, Green Bay is favored by three points, and you know, as I mentioned, the winner of that game will be in the uh, win be the 2015 NFC North champions. And we currently have five 4 o'clock games going on. Uh, scores right now. Buccaneers looking to give their Panthers their second consecutive loss. Up 3 nothing early in the second quarter. Chiefs looking for their 10th win in a row after starting the season 1-5. and five. I believe they're the second team in NFL history um, since the playoffs expanded to 12 teams to be making the playoffs after a 1 in 5 start, uh, you know, lost Jamal Charles and you know, looked like their season was done, but you know, just been playing superb football. Have a 14 to 3 lead over the Raiders, 12:50 left in the second quarter. Of course, as I mentioned to start the show, this is Charles Woodson's last career game in the NFL. Denver Broncos, as I mentioned, win and they get home field throughout the NFC, uh, AFC playoffs have a 7-3 lead over the Chargers after the first quarter. Uh, Seahawks lead the Arizona Cardinals 10-6. And the San Francisco 49ers are leading the St. Louis Rams 7-3. So those are your 4 o'clock scores. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, very important game tonight. Uh, we'll decide the NFC North. I'll get into more playoff scenarios once we come back from our commercial break.
gentlemen.
welcome back after that short commercial break. Um, you know, as I mentioned, I will talk more about the NFL playoffs. I would love to do, you know, somewhat of a football pre- playoff preview. Um, you know, maybe even predictions. Um, you know, unfortunately, though, with six games remaining in on the NFL schedule, there still is a lot to be decided in, you know, how the teams are seeded. Uh, for example, Denver Broncos, um, you know, currently still have a 7-3 to lead over the Chargers. Uh, Broncos win. They get the first seed. Broncos lose. Uh, they no longer have a first round bye. Um, you know, also could potentially not even win the division. Uh, you know, they could fall to the three seed and they could fall even further to the number five seed if the Kansas City Chiefs are able to beat the Oakland Raiders. Uh, Chiefs do have a 14 to 3 lead. So the Chiefs could be anywhere from, uh, could either have the five seed or the third seed. Uh, Bengals could either have the second seed or the third seed. Um, so either get the first round by, home game in the second round, or the home game in the first round, depending on what the Broncos do. New England Patriots have clinched the first round by. Could have clinched home field throughout the AFC playoffs if they had beaten the Dolphins. Uh, they did not. Therefore, um, Still have to hope that the Broncos lose in order to get home field throughout the AFC playoffs. So, you know, still a lot going on. We know the Steelers are the number six seed in the AFC. Um, You know, we're on the outside looking in heading into today. But due to their win over the Browns and the Jets' loss to the Bills, the Steelers crept back into the playoffs. Uh, You know, I've been seen by a lot of people as a team that no one will want to face. Um, you know, of course, there's been plenty of wild card teams that have won Super Bowls in recent memory. Uh, you know, the Giants, uh, the Baltimore Ravens. So, you know, it's definitely not impossible. Uh, you know, they've had Roethlisberger out for some games and have seen the offense play much better when Roethlisberger is out on the field. So, uh, you know, he's fully healthy now. And, of course, they have Antonio Brown. But they did lose D'Angelo Williams today. Uh, he left the game due to injury so you know without if he is unable to play uh you know that would be a huge loss for the pittsburgh steelers uh you know he had an ankle injury i believe they put in uh fitzgerald toussaint a uh, second year player out of michigan uh as their running back for the rest of the game uh you know D'Angelo williams had a superb season for the steelers in the wake of Le'Veon bell's injury so, um, you know, it's going to be disapp- uh, be very disappointing for the Steelers if he cannot play. Uh, Martavis Bryant is expected to be okay for the wild card game after suffering a neck strain today. So that's good news for the Steelers. So, you know, clearly still a lot to be going on in the AFC playoffs. Uh, you know, there's not one matchup that's sewn up. Um, you know, Patriots... We'll want that home field. Um, You know, when they're fully healthy, they're a tough team to beat. Uh, They've been without Julian Edelman for six, seven, six or seven of the last of their last games of the season. Hasn't played in quite some time. Uh, You know, probably should be ready. uh, You know, with the bye week for them. But um, you know, Patriots just don't really lose at home. Uh, they've had other injuries, though, including the running backs, uh, Deion Lewis and the Garrett Blount, uh, had to sign Steven Jackson, uh, off the waiver wire as Jackson had not played all season, played for the Falcons last season, um, you know, hoping that he could have a important role in the Patriots playoff run, uh, Bengals, of course, have struggled mightily, uh, lost, um, Dalton's been a quarterback in the NFL for four years, and he is 0-4 in the playoffs. Yes, he's led his team to the playoffs every year, but he struggled mightily once the postseason has come. So, 